Good day, lords and ladies of the internet. I am your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I welcome you back to the Darkest Dungeon, where this week, I th it's about time we took on one of these invitations and went to the courtyard. I hear there's a glorious party going on after all, so only the most prestigious of guests may arrive. So, with our uh, prestigious guests, we have, to start with, Lydia, our falconeer, Miss Critterlot, Critterlot, in all her glory, yes glory. We then have Buttercup, our Lamaya, ready to put on a song ready for the in it, for whatever we may put find in there then we have damdrone our flagellant ready to deal with any wounds as well as create more that he sees fit and then finally we have daniel the bulldozer i don't think i need to say more than that so anyway guys let us go and see what we can find in this place. Now here's the problem. I don't remember anything about what's needed around here. So I'm going to assume a little of everything is going to be needed. And yeah, especially blood. blood uh, blood's definitely going to be needed because we've got vampires in this place and well, let's just see what our ancestor has to say. They would arrive in teeming hordes, Ooh. adorned in powdered wigs and ah. Seeking mm. to slake their thirst on wine and indecency. Mel's intoxication invariably took hold. Innocuous frivolities would escalate to ever more disturbing diversions. Ooh. Orchestrating the hideous affair was a hunchbacked fiend who seemed to delight in proportion to the suffering he caused. I could have stopped him, I suppose. But I was a slave to my own appetites. And restraint would have rendered me a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite. So what have you got against being one? What games does this diminutive fool play at now? I don't know. We're on the quest to find out. Epic quests. This quest is EPIC! You are not expected to finish epic quests in one attempt. You may regroup, abandon, the quest at any time, and your progress will be s is saved. When you obtain another invento invitation, you may continue the quest from where you left off. Ah, how convenient, because we have so many, you know, invitations. I see. Quite a way to go, as well as a secret room. So that's going to be a nice treat as well. So let us continue on and start with what we find here. Now, this thing needs bandages, apparently. So, use the bandages, Daniel. And find us a diamond. Good. Now get ready for a fight. That's right. Pull that thing forward. Now, kill it. Well done, Daniel. Well, not Daniel. Damn drone. You killed the annoying one. Now we've just got these two things to deal with. Nice crit, nice crit. Not gonna make a difference for saving the enemy, for key, for it dying though. And Daniel, have a big heal. I love how you're a nuke healer, without be having any nuke heal. Buttercup, it's very nice. They are absolutely destroyed. Ooh, but now we have something to disarm. To which Daniel is ready and prepared. All right, guys, let us move on and get ready for a fight. And then ahead of us, we have a secret room. So that is something to, for which we can delight. What the hell is that thing? If it's new, you kill it, because you don't want to know what it does. Destroyed. Also that thing. That thing also seems very evil to me. That's a lot of bleeding right there, Daniel. Damn drone. I'm sorry, damn drone. I keep calling you Daniel. Subterranean skewer. That's a lot of damage. You may wish to heal yourself, Buttercup. That's not the same healing as you did on Daniel. And you've got bonuses to being healed. Well, Daniel, um, we don't trust this thing. Kill it. Die. 
Thank you. Ooh. Oh no. And Daniel is now a vampire. Hmm. Interesting. That's a thing we have to deal with now, I suppose. Because Daniel already didn't have enough health. Well, at least he's faster now, I guess. I healed the wrong one. As one does. These things seem to be dying pretty easily as of right now. Now, I was told obstacles. There are some obstacles in here. Which are... Which you need a torch to get through. And I don't have any named characters that can provide torches. So, this is likely to be fun. Did we just kill that thing in one turn? Yes! We killed it! It got obliterated! Sweet! That's more the healing we expect to see on yourself, Daph. This thing doesn't like to bleed. But that doesn't matter, because Daniel can't do not enough damage to kill you. Die. See? It like it wanted you he wanted you dead. Right then. So here is the secret. And what do we have? Oh. Oh. Well, we just found a random hero. In a cage. Shifting mist. We need a torch to get through. I don't think that was iron, friend. Well, at least we didn't appear that far away from it. From the looks of it. We just have to go along here. That's all. Ah. Hello there, pal. You like blood, don't you? That bleed amulet's a pretty good one. So I'm going to sacrifice the jade for it. Thank you. That was actually a really nice trinket. Well, back to killing. Hello, enemies. Are you ready to die? Buttercup's stress healing isn't the best. It's not the best. But Daniel's ability to kill is... We have a stress healer, but not the best stress healer in the team. But we do also have Damdrone for stress healing too, technically. So, that's also a thing we have. We also have Daniel to just kill everything. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've said that. Because Daniel's a truck. I called him the truck for a reason. Or did I call him the bulldozer? No, I called him the bulldozer. He's the bulldozer for a reason. It's a shame Damdrone couldn't do enough damage to finish it off. Not a vampire. Mwah. You are brilliant at critting, aren't you? We love you and your crits. Thronging hive. Ah, uh, what does this thing do? Medical herbs, nothing. Bandages, nothing. Anti-venom, nothing. Shovel, nothing. Blood, nothing. Just use it. Gold, sure. Whatever. Come here, enemies. Do not toy with this one, it may call for help. Well, I don't think we're gonna have a chance to actually toy with it, because it is gonna be long dead before it gets a chance to toy for her to call for help. Another See? Cleansed from our lands. It's not a problem. The only problem is lack of inventory space. We don't need deeds. We really don't. One of our greatest weaknesses right now is a lack of crests. Alright, so what do we have down here, then? Other than these things. Those are the things appearing in regular dungeons right now, aren't they? Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. We're here for you, enemies! Come get some. Oh god, there's two of those things. And you like to guard. Interesting. Guard doesn't protect you from bleeding. You're actually a tad bit late to save that one, I'm afraid. You're also a bit tad late to save yourself. Well, Lydia, you're taking a lot of damage. So you know what? Mark that, would you? We know you you like to crit, but we also but you also know Daniel's the one that does all the damage. So if Daniel Die. Thank you, Daniel. 
and Damdrome gives us all a nice quick heal. Because that only lasts two rounds, it's not like it even matters too much. Although you'd survived, which is very annoying. Because now you're gonna die and I don't get a chance- Buttercup doesn't get a chance to heal herself. Could you be less rude? We know it is. There's also nothing up here, so this was an entire waste of time. Well done. Okay, so what do we have in the Curo room? Tell me. A plant pot, which we can smash with a shovel. If only indeed. Oh god, this place is big. Locked room. What the hell is a locked room? And let's get rid of the keys. I don't think we need those. Alright then. Alright. Let's try going south then. What can we find south? This thing. More but more loot. More crests. Why am I trying to get loot when I clearly don't have enough inventory for any? Well, you two are new. Ow! That was rather rude. You know what? Don't trust the news thing. Try and murder the new thing, Daniel. Don't murder it. That's frustrating. Nice crit heal, Buttercup. You really don't want to die. But don't worry, Daniel. Lydia's got the cleanup duty for you. That hurt. Good thing Lydia didn't get poisoned by it. It was impressive, I agree. Nice chunk of damage. Buttercup. I love your crits. So much. So if I increase the torchlight, what's it do? Plus three accuracy for, th for one battle. Fair, I guess. I mean, we need something. Sprunging hive. Well, we got valuables from it last time. And we got garbage from it this time. So what rooms are there from here? My god, this place is huge. Ah. Enemies. I am not in the least bit surprised. Damdro needs a bit of a stress healing buttercup, so play your lovely voice. And that's... Don't be a vampire. Oh man, not again. I just jinxed it, didn't I? So now we've got Daniel and Can't Lydia as vampires. Great. Can't touch this. Everyone dodging those abilities, which is actually great. That thing's gonna bleed out. And then Daniel can go whack on that thing. It did a lot of good damage. That hurt. That ability also sends them backwards. That's actually good to know. That ability also hurt. Can you stop hurting? Please. It's rude, says Daniel. So what you gonna do to us? Okay. Oh, you're gonna miss horribly because my people are epic, whereas you are pretty damn crap. But we also need time to actually heal. So, because Buttercup needs a heal. So if Buttercup could please have her heal. Thank you. Now you may die. Damn drone, just help it bleed quicker. Boom. Corpse. Dead. Never stood a chance. That's a lot of portraits. I have enough portraits. I've got 30... I've got 40 of the things. Ah, you're craving the blood now, are you, Daniel? Well, that's not good. But we do have plenty of it, so it's not like it's a problem. Alright, well, let's just keep heading south in this giant maze of a place. Mechanical hazards possessed by evil intent. Well, fuck. There we go, there's one dead. Now we've got one, the little fly left. The little fly is about to heal itself. It's a good thing it already attacked a vampire, so it's not like it, they, he can con it can convert another vampire. So that's good. Crap. Well, Lydia, you're not getting healed again. Maybe. Nope. Daniel says you're not getting healing. Why would you give me keys? That's actually worrying. Let's take the keys just in case. This thing. Key. 
does nothing. That gave me scouting. A little bit of scouting. The fact it didn't do anything in this direction leads me to think this is empty. And leads to nowhere. I am right. Well then. Fight us! Oh, your little maggots and crap. Wow, you're actually useless. That thing survived. Lydia, what's wrong with you? You actually let one have a turn. There. Redemption for you, Lydia. You kill it. Let's move on, guys. You're not being as needy for food as you were last week. This time, are you guys? I expected you to be wanting a lot more food than you're eating. Spudders. Bad spudders. Critting spudders. I hate... Everyone hates these spiders. They need to go to hell. Can't touch this. Good dodge, Daniel. That's what we like to see. You know what? Can you kill that one for me? Thank you. Redemption again, Lydia. You really weren't going to let the spider have its turn this time. And though you didn't kill it, you did de indirectly kill it. Because that spider is definitely dead. Even if Daniel misses, it's definitely dead. But then you get the chance to actually kill it yourself. Because why not? How big is this blasted place? You, you like blood, don't you? Give us something. Blood for treasure. We'll take one. We'll take, uh... That. I bought too much food for this stuff. There is nothing over here, is there? What a waste of time. I'm gl so glad when we find out about the traps. Because disarming them is so useful. I would say there's a chest we could have used a key on, but I don't think that's the type of key chest we can actually use a key on. So... Okay. Can I have a turn? Okay. Can I have a turn? Yes. Thank you. Well done, Daniel. That was a really nice kill. Everyone's pretty healthy right now. The blood. You must have the blood. Oh, good. The blood. All hail to bloody blood. Kill the fly. You failed to kill the fly, Lydia. Daniel, kill this thing. Well done, Daniel. You're very good at killing these things, you know? I still want to stress heal you, da damn drone, because I'm pretty sure you're not quite underneath the health limit. Oh god, that's not good. And you don't quite deal enough bleed damage either. Daniel's now below the health limit for me to want to heal him. Kill the fly! The fly's dead. Okay. That thing comes closer. And now he gets ready to skewer Daniel. Who resists all the effects. As one would expect from Daniel. Because he's Daniel. That was a nice crit, Lydia. Well done. And you are now wasting, apparently. That didn't take long. Have some blood. You happy now, Daniel? Kill this thing. You didn't quite kill it, I'm afraid. Didn't get a chance to heal, then. You know what I've said about, uh, you know... Food is not for eating, it's for... It, not for healing, it's for eating. Yeah, I lied, apparently. The container ca ca carries a key. Oh, God. So this is a key for that, is it? There. So how am I meant to keep that in my inventory until I get over there? Heck, do these even connect? And if they do, why do I need to get in there? Is that where the boss is? Because if that's where the boss is, this was meant to only take... This was meant to take more than less than one attempt? Really? These do not connect, do they? This is just a random square of nothingness. Isn't it? Nope, not quite. They do connect. Okay, then we'll go this way. I don't have any 
Bandages. You got bleeding. Of course you would. You want blood? Have some blood. That's an amazing item for the doctor. And that worry stone isn't bad either. And now there's a way to go that way. But why would I go that way? I need to find out what's in this thing. Over here. You guys all had a meal before the boss. Good. I'm glad about that. Let's head inside. What's in here then? Literally nothing. Christ alive. So what was the point behind the red door? What's up here then? Come get us. You're complaining a lot more than Daniel ever did, Lydia. About not having your precious blood. Your precious blood isn't that important. Nice crit heal, Buttercup. That is exactly what we needed. Just because the enemy then annoyingly took down a bunch of other blood for us. Nice dodge! That's exactly what you needed as well. You're now craving, are you, Daniel? You really like blood, apparently. But then again, you do have a trait that says you like blood, don't you? So... And this thing really loves to skewer Daniel. Stress heal... Lydia, before we give Daniel some more, before we give Lydia some healing. Why aren't you dead? I swear you were bleeding. Why is Buttercup the slowest person here? And you're now wasting. Well, have some blood then, Lydia. Jesus Christ. You all become so whiny the moment you become vampires. Another track. What do we have up here then? Please be something worthwhile. Because we're still trying to find a baron. And we don't know where the hell that thing could be. Let's go left, because I don't know. I just want to explore everything and everywhere at this point. We've got so many invitations to in the, about this place, so why not use them all? Because we find things like this. That's why. This thing is quite possibly about to hurt. That did not hurt anywhere near as, as much as I thought it would. Oh, we stunned it. Well, now we don't have to worry about that thing anymore. Can you stop hitting Daniel? About to break. What is wrong with Daniel? He's only a bulldozer. Don't try and murder the bulldozer, please. The bulldozer doesn't like that very much. Do you, bulldozer? Plus blight skill, minus whatever's. Eat, eat. We'll take that. Sure, why not? Was that a... No, that was on the track. Not the room. What's in the room, then? So this place is bloody bleeding huge, then. I'm guessing. Well, let's go to the Kuro on the left. Because why the hell not? It's the least... It's the least... It's the most empty path. The habitants in alive inside are still alive and bite. Ow. Of course they do. And you're now wasting, Daniel. Please, have some blood and stop complaining. Kill the thing I can almost guarantee I can kill, or work on the- on killing the thing- actually, I'll guarantee killing the thing I can almost kill. Really? Can you not? Can you definitely not? Buttercup. We needed a crit, Buttercup. We need this thing bleeding. And hopefully dead next turn. Don't do that. Okay, she's alive. That's all that matters. No. 
She's still alive. She's bleeding. Damn drone, you're fast. Can you have your turn before Buttercup, please? For the love of all that's holy. We're gonna retreat, actually. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism. Be rapturous, da uh, damn drone. What the fuck? No, I didn't click that. I didn't click that. No. But the battle may yet be won. You know what, Daniel? Fine. Be focused. It doesn't matter. We're regrouping at the hamlet. All done. No one dying. I'm not losing your trinkets. They're more important. You can we got more gold out of it than we than we spent getting here, so still a profit. You're scared of beasts, and you lose your bad gambler. Eh, bad gambler's a fine one. And you're no longer a precise striker. The funny thing about the, the, the flagellant is it doesn't need things like precise striker or anything. Alright then. Well... Our first trip into the courtyard didn't go so well. Actually, it went fairly well until the end when I accidentally re-entered the place by accident and everything started going haywire. So, needless to say, things started going a little bad. But that's not important right now. We've got two new vampires and to end the episode, I figured I might as well show you, take you through the farmstead because... Why the hell not? You can get some useful loot from the farmstead. Some good old crystals. The poor Miller. Yes, yes, I we know this. Him. Actually, I don't the think we do know this. I don't think I've taken you. anyone in here. I took his land. And now, uncountable years later, the, the comet, comet has took taken his humanity. His humanity. My, My only regret, regret is that, that I, did I did not see that shoddy that mill shattered to pieces. pieces. You say it too slowly. From beyond the void. Needless to say, I've heard those lines too many times. Because I tend to farm the... Because whenever there's not good loot, you can send someone here, retreat immediately, and get a new loot table, and not take any penalties. Mm, let's get ready to rumble! But anyway, let's go. Now, repost is very useful in the farmstead but so is the surgeon because the surgeon has this little quirk that gives plus light resistance which these things have a horrible habit of liking to do and now we have a werewolf are any of the people here named of course they're not that would make things too easy but the thing about the farmstead is that people don't die in the farmstead they get refracted. So, theoretically, you can work the farmstead for as long as you want. With, with, you can just find a good te team of people that you love using in the farmstead. And never have to worry about them dying. Or losing them, because you don't lose the people in the farmstead. At least not in this scenario you don't. And why did you have to dodge? The only issues my team currently has in the farmstead is handling stress, because no one here can handle stress. Apart from Mr. Slayer, because Mr. Slayer just pulls out their guts and then heals himself as and gets some stuff on top. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And of course the surgeon goes to the front. Because the surgeon totally wants to be at the front. Of course you pull the ground. People totally have, because everyone here totally has something they can do if you pull the ground. Well, three of them do. Finally, new enemies. And of course, he immediately starts with the regen effect. Screw the regen effect. Please kill. That won't kill. Also, regen always applies after the damage, so if you do enough, like, dot damage to kill something, but it's got a regen effect on it, it won't die. 
Because reasons! The werewolf does not like being at the very back. He also doesn't like getting hit. Also, we have a bit of a problem fighting anything in the back row. Kinda. Because the only ones that can actually fight anything in the back row... Well, is no one. We can only hit the frontal two. So if you somehow have a large corpse, you tend to be a bit of problem with my current team. Continuous healing. That's just what the surgeon does. The, the surgeon is just a bit of healing to the group every round. That's all. Oh, and blight resistance. That too. Which is very useful. We're somehow not stressed yet, which I find hilarious. Ah, the Slayer. The only one that can't repost. And probably the main one that should. Okay, that's very, very bad. Because we have no way to deal enough damage to kill that thing. To kill the shard. And you always want to kill the shard. Oh. Um, you have a 14% chance to kill this. Gurney. Go ahead. No? Okay. Boom. Well, you got healed. At least, Werewolf, from the repost. So you can't repost if you're stunned. Okay. That's actually interesting to know. I didn't know that. I've never had it happen to me before. Destroy. That's right. Kill them both. Good job, Mr. Slayer. You are a slayer, after all. You should be slaying things. Nice crit as well, man-at-arms. You might also notice I haven't given them any form of trinkets. That's because I don't. Ow. You resisted, you resisted the bleed. I'm impressed. Can you stop doing that? Please. I kind of want him alive, you know? The werewolf, the only character that potentially does more damage from be from while reposting. You guys are being real pricks right now, you know? Can you please stop hurting my poor, innocent little doom guy? What did he ever do to you? Masochistic werewolf. Alright. Oh, look at that. We're done. Hooray. That's that's phase one, everybody. At last, and oh god. A sheltered corner of reality. And you get cured for all of your stress, so you no longer have that masochistic crap on you. Well done, Miss Miss Whatchamacallit. You know what, Doom Guy? You need a real good heal. I can't do that. I can only do that four times throughout the entire journey because of the new rules involving the farmstead and making it so that only that used battles can only work once during the farmstead. But still, all the same. And then have him go shotgun. Because that shotgun is surprisingly powerful. Yes. Attacker. Good idea. Do some damage. Good job, Miss Werewolf. Are you a werewolf yet? No. Of course you're not. But you're kind of getting to the point where you need a bit of healing. Reality Bend? Can you people please hit your reposts? They're not that hard to hit. Huh. Well, Doom Guy, you just saved us because now we can actually hit the crystal. Well done. And beat down the crystal. Well done, guys. You managed to bleed a fucking creature of stone. Alright. Everyone is always bleeding. I'm noting. Kind of annoying. We don't like it when people are bleeding. Like that. Because bleeding hurts. You know? I can't believe you missed that. Because that was one of the key things needed to heal you. Because I want to cure this guy's little bleeding problem, but I can't miss, miss Werewolf, because you have to be there. 
Stir the rabble, you say? Well, they certainly are rabble because they ever re because they never re want to die. That's for sure. So much owl, just so much owl. Rip and tear this one. Get yourself some health, Mr. Doom guy. That's dead next round at least. Well, it was Nate's dead for next round, but it isn't anymore. Okay, now it's dead because it decided to attack the Webble. Who likes to just rip and tear everyone who attacks her? Could you not? I rather like the werewolf. Okay, everything's stunned next round. Good. Kind of gives us a chance to heal ourselves up then. Or just leave, apparently. My hand Food! But be quick. Well then, that's good. Miss Werewolf, you're definitely getting the food. Oh, it's a group heal, is it? Well, that's definitely what we needed. This is where things get interesting. Good job. You stress healed the doctor, who ta who has reduced stress every time he attacks. Well done, you idiot. There we go. Reduced stress. How's that stress wave of yours looking right now, Miss Mister Tide Hunter? Because it doesn't look very good. Ah, you can double it up. That's a little more effective. Come on. Gurney, you've had a good track record of always getting virtued. So why is it when I, you fi I finally bring you on camera, you get camera shy and decide, no, I don't want virtue. I hardly call it revenge if we haven't even touched you yet, Thrall. Oh god, not one of these things. I'm gonna be impressed if you actually manage to stress. Stress the goddamn doctor. That's a major bloody beer lead. You know. Do you have to buff that thing in particular? It's rather rude to buff that thing in particular, don't you think? That really needs better hit chance. And also, get rid of that bleed. I'm not letting you bleed that much. But you would like a turn, at least, if I'm going to heal you. Yes, guard the one I can't even hit. Good job. That's the only way I can hit it. Rageful? The hell is that? I've never seen that particular debuff. Rageful decreases all your resistances by 15%, and that's it. Well, that's not too bad, actually. Also, I didn't know you had a higher than average uh, death blow resistance, Mr. Werewolf. Well, that's quite cool to know. Well, make it bleed more. Rude! Can I be allowed to control you a little, please? Because I'd have gotten you to heal yourself. Oh my god, you're actually going to stre stress out the doctor. I'm impressed. Stop sending them backwards! Christ! So I'm actually allowed to control you now, am I? There! That's what happens when I control you. You get crit healed for all your health. See? It's a good thing, isn't it? You're dead next turn, so you failed utterly at doing anything to me. And you finally guard the what that one when it's almost dead. Fuck. But we managed to stun you, so you're no longer guarded. Yay! Please let me you control you! Thank you for moving forward. That's actually exceptionally useful, Miss Werewolf. And that's why I hate bloody 
afflictions. Eventually, you're going to die. And I am going to win. And I'll finally be able to leave. Oh, God. I thought I was almost done. I thought I just needed to kill those things and I could do it. But no. Why won't you be healed, man-at-arms? You like being healed. You get bonuses for it. Why'd you resist it? That could have moved you forward. Please, no. I like my dark guns. Thank you. You just did a really good thing, Miss Swearwolf, by pushing yourself forward. You did a really good thing by resisting the- WILL YOU GET HEALED?! YOU HAVE SAID NO TO HEALING! FIVE TIMES IN A ROW NOW! DON'T DO THAT! I mean, I- I know you're the bloody shard mercenary, so I don't properly care about any bloody one of you. But still... Come the hell on! Accept the movement. Thank you. Accept the movement. Thank you. That thing's dead. Good. You finally let yourself be healed, Mr. Man at Arms, when you finally were on no health. Why does that hit so hard? Why does that seriously hit that hard? You want to die! All of you want to die because you refuse to hit anything. It doesn't matter now, at least, because we're free for this round. From the comet's maddening because, light. oh hell. Now. And there, some more crystals for us. And you know what? It's time for us to leave the farmstead. And you know what I want to check? I had 56 crystals before I ended this. I've got 40 in my inventory right now. Now it reduced to 24, so that should mean I have at least... 70 plus 24 from there, which should mean 94. Now let's help see how much I actually get. Not they take 16 shards and I've got 80. You know what? The math actually works up. Apparently I've just been a bit paranoid that they're doing it wrong. Also, why did they change it so that I can't get gold, for, gold from do it, doing from completing the farmstead anymore? Just why? It's not nice. Just why? Well, that's all I have time for. So, everyone, I'd like to thank you all for joining me this week as we went ahead and had a go at the courtyard, as well as the farmstead. We have two new vampires we've got added to our collection now, and let's hope a break would be welcome, but you're welcome. No, you're getting your break, Daniel. You're getting your break. Well, everyone, as I was saying... I'd like to thank you all for joining me this week for another glorious episode in The Darkest Dungeons. But I'm all out of time this week. So everyone, if you would like to join me in the gentleman's manor, or estate even, you are more than welcome. Just tell me what character you want to be down below. And remember, it to pick more than one character type, just in case. Because it can be take a while to get your character type if you want a particular type sometimes. Well, I should know. It took me about 30 weeks to get a musketeer. So everyone, like I've been trying to say for the last, like, two minutes, I'd like to thank you all for watching. I have been your host, the Parafox Archangel, the English gentleman of the internet, and I hope to see you all again next time. But until then, it's time for me to bid the all farewell. Good day, and finally, good night.